Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's Make Knowledge Free campaign we go about looking at fixing an iPhone issue. Many iPhone users have reported that despite mobile data being turned on, they are not getting cellular data on their phone. Now let's look at a few possible fixes. First things first, you obviously need to have mobile data turned on and it's very important that you turn on data roaming. Quite possibly your data roaming has been turned off by mistake. When you turn data roaming on, it actually enhances your cellular data connection to work properly in more circles. So please turn on data roaming. Now once you have done this, hopefully things should work. So if this doesn't work, what you can next do is, I will show, just go ahead and turn on aeroplane mode. Now once you turn on aeroplane mode, all the cellular connections and everything is temporarily shut down. So it enters a buffer state. Let it be like this for a couple of seconds and then turn off aeroplane mode so that all the network connections get restored. Turning on and then turning off the aeroplane mode has worked for many users and I think it should work for you as well. Next, one of the most powerful methods is scrolling down, tapping on general and then here scrolling down until you see transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on this. And here you will see there are quite few many options and like one of which is reset. Once you tap on reset, you will again have a variety of options. You need to tap on reset network settings. Please do note that when you do this, none of your iPhone data is lost. No data, no photos, nothing is lost. Only you need to again set up your Wi-Fi password. That's it. So now you need to enter your passcode. So once you have entered your uh, passcode, you need to tap on reset network settings. The phone will reboot. So you need not worry. All the network settings, like whatever problems might have happened, they all get reset. And it's as if like you now have a completely fresh network reset iPhone. So it's one of the most powerful steps. And once you do this, chances are when the phone reboots, all your internet and every other thing should work properly. The phone has reboot. I need to simply enter the passcode. And hopefully now when you check, like you should have like all the network signals and also you should be easily able to access internet. Now, if this also is not working for you, you need to head towards settings, head towards general and like scroll down until you see VPN and device management. Earlier versions of iPhone, this used to be profiles. Just tap on this and check whether you are accessing internet through a virtual private network. In case there are any profiles listed here, simply tap on the profile and delete the profile. Because what happens is like if you have a VPN activated, the way the iPhone accesses internet might change. And that's why maybe you are not getting internet. So simply reset this back. You really don't need a virtual private network you simply need to reset network settings and access internet the normal way oftentimes when we visit abroad or maybe we need to access certain sites not accessible through the local internet that's when we actually use virtual private network but sometimes this may fail in a terrible manner and therefore you need to delete any profile which may appear here so that's one thing it is also important to note that sometimes simply a mere rebooting of the phone can actually help so head towards general scroll down Tap on shutdown and just power off the phone and then simply reboot the phone and just turn on the phone again. So just rebooting the phone like by pressing the power button. This may also help. Just try doing this. This combined with the aeroplane mode may also work. But like I said, resetting of network settings is the most powerful method. So be prompted to enter your passcode and once you have entered the passcode, you should find your phone working perfectly well. Not just getting the signals but also accessing internet it should all work fine another thing that you can try doing is check for a software update for this you need to head to a settings go to general and then here check on software update it's always good to go ahead and do updates update will never hurt your phone so if there's an update available you can go ahead and download this we'll do this after the video is over if you are still facing issues it's time to perhaps check whether the sim has been inserted properly so simply remove the sim tray and check whether the sim has been inserted properly in the sim tray I'll just zoom this. So basically this is the SIM. You will note that there is a small curve in the SIM tray which helps you note that how the SIM is to be put. 
so simply go ahead and do that once it fits in properly you can then like you know insert this inside the iphone and then shortly you should get the signals and everything back on the phone as you can see here well these are in short all the steps but the most powerful of steps like i already explained is heading to our general scrolling down and then on transfer or reset of phone tapping on reset and resetting network settings so this is most powerful so go ahead and do this and again check whether you have any vpn profiles if there are simply go ahead and delete that profiles and ensure that your data roaming is turned on your like mobile data is on in the first place so sometimes the roaming may be off so it's simply turn data roaming on so this all things are important if you have done all of this and is still failing it's time to head towards the apple center they may say it's the carrier's fault and the carrier may say it's apple's fault the blame games never cease to stop but anyways do all of this and do the network reset i'm very sure your phone will start working if this tutorial helps consider subscribing tap on the bell icon for notifications let me know in the comment section how you find the tutorial and please don't forget to share this with your friends that should mean a lot to me this should resolve not just your data issues but also any network issues on the iphone thank you so much